Hey, sweetie. No. He hung up. He's going to call Lorraine. Roy said thank you. Hang up, Lauren. He's going to call Lorraine. Roy said thank you. Oh, well, I haven't uh, called I you. Tried to call, I tried to call Frank. Anyway. Oh, do you want... Hang up. Would you like for me to have him well, call he's you? He's not going to have to talk to you. Talk to me. No, uh... The guy's going to call me back in bed. I'm going to call him at the house. He's just stuff for mom. Okay. Uh, I want to keep... You tell Warren, I want him to keep in touch with me today. Let, let me know what's going on. Okay. I'm going to have to take him... Yeah, I'm probably going to go upstairs. You told me that you told me that you're gonna kill yourself. Are you still gonna do it? I will tell you when mom gets back. I will go pick my split mall back up and pay for that. Uh, he'll talk to mom. Have mom pay for that. He'll pay her back. Ten bucks. Wow, that's okay. Cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> Lauren holds. Lauren, Lauren holds, Lauren holds, Lauren holds his. Big on him. He my buddy. I get big on him. Lauren holds. I can call him the house. Lauren holds. Do all this shit. Lauren holds his cigarette like a girl. I <laughs> you see that? Have no, you seen that? Know. Have you seen that? You see the way he drags it? Yeah, you see the way he drags it? You know, Paul, you tall. Yeah. Well, you're fat yet. You should be smoking. You're queer. Ah. <laughs> I used to pick okay, on wait. him. Lauren's <laughs> calling me. Lauren's calling me. I'm going to add Lauren to the call, Roy. Okay, hold on. Yes, you, yes, you can. So he near. You got to. You got to hear it all. Please feel better. No, well, he he hung up earlier, but he, please he's, feel he's, better. He's, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> I, didn't find all, I didn't know what's your number, but I was trying to get a hold of one. I know. Hold on. Yeah, Here he is. Stuff. We got a lot of stuff to him. We got to take care of him. Uh, I got to call him his mom's house. Got to do this. Clay's coming up. I wasn't happy. I didn't go to the clock this morning. But Clay's you know, Whatever. My legs are cold. He wants the world to know. No, I feel, I, I, feel, I feel really sorry for him. I'm going to see how much I can take and... Uh, uh, do what I know just to get him go to work, uh, just to uh, dump it right in front of his dooryard. Uh, some of my friends might give me some discounted, what is it, like, beat, ash, uh, Dude. I've been through there, uh, uh, for as long as it's got to sit me on the phone, it's got to hunker down and do shit. I've done it. I've been that road twice. I don't mind how long out, but I said I'm not going through this again. Uh, you know, yeah, especially yeah. something I don't know, which I didn't own in one of minutes. I actually do. He's kind of a little pussy, ain't he? Uh, I told you he was on the phone. I'm. I told you I was gonna put him back on because he called me. I but... know. That's fine. Good. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I he's kind of pussy. You. You see the way he smokes his cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. How was breakfast? You like you like a little pin. Uh, that's how Paul said, pinsy fairy. Did you make? Did you eat sausage? Yeah, I made mom breakfast. We had coffee. We talked. Did you hold the sausage the way uh, Lauren holds his cigarette? <laughs> <clears throat> no, I didn't put no spices in it because I have to be careful to put in spices in it because uh, mother's mom. Yeah, because it made it plain. She probably has uh, dirt, right? I've I made it for 300 guys on the service. Boy, come on. You dump those spices and everything else, and that's great. But, Mom, I have to be careful what to put in there. Yeah. So I only had one or one biscuit. I made a, you know, I cut the biscuits in half, and I put stuff on. Mom said, that's off a bland. I said, Mom, I do. I'm used to cooking for 300 guys. I said, I can't put the spices I know we put in there uh, for a Paul Lawrence, Paul Lawrence, 
different. Then I'd make it so much better. I put spice in it. Mom, I can't. Roy, why don't you just like use um, a little bit of onion powder, not a whole lot, and no tomatoes? Because your mom probably has GERD, which she has difficulty with. No, well, we like we like onions and everything, and your uh, queer boyfriend can't stand onions. That's how we're trying yeah. to figure out he's queer. Or... Well, you, you don't know, like onions. You don't like green peppers, and uh, green peppers so I'm trying to find out whether he's clear. But, you know, onions do have an oil in them. Every day, it's good for you. It's good for you. Oh, God, you smoke onions, uh, so onions, mushrooms, garlic, uh, oh, cayenne pepper. Everything is so good for the respiratory system. Yeah, but like if you. What ha what does not liking onions have to do with being queer? I know people who are queer and they will eat the fuck out of an onion ring, yo. Well, because because you know most most these people, you know, uh, if they're faggots, they don't like onions. Oh, just I know an onions of mine. Uh, my boyfriend don't like onions. But I don't understand mm -hmm. what the difference is. I mean, if somebody can, my take boyfriend don't like onions. Let me ask you something though. Oh, are you saying that it just means that they're kind of like? <laughs> it means that they're gotcha. Kind of like, right, tell her. Right, right. straight. Are what? you saying that that means that they're cowardly, like like they're little sissies or something? No, onions, onions, and green peppers are the best thing for your body. Yeah, but... you can get garlic. It's the best thing for your body as far as nutritional wise. Look it up. I don't have to look it up. I know. Um. Okay. Actually, the best thing for your body is not to smoke two packs a day. But I'm um... go mushrooms. But I'm not eating them because if you pick the wrong ones, you can die. Well, mushrooms are rubbery, like foreskin. <clears throat> no, I'm talking about the mushrooms we have here. Well, I would They're love to try some of those mushrooms. But I'll tell you what. I think, I, it's it, it, I think I it's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous for a man to call another man a sissy or something. Because like if nah, they're long's a, long's a fucking sissy. But if you take the He's a sissy. fat cock in your ass and He's it spreads pussy. it out and you can take it and grunt and smile. Yeah, long, long, long pussy. You don't like onions. Then I don't care if you well, like Well, we're not talking about sex. You're really tough. See. Anybody who can well, take yes. yeah, I am. Tough, you have to respect it. Okay? Ah, that's gross. It's gross. What was that about? I went out on, on discussion then. It was real, uh, I think Lauren hung up anyway. Talking about lawn and onions. I no, don't... I'm here. Lauren likes the onions. Yeah. I'm, trying, hung... to, yeah, I'm trying to get them on to onions. Mom is, too. Right. Does she like uh, the purple onions or the white ones or the yellow ones? It... Uh, probably I think what she used, I think, was a purple. It's not so much. I like the white ones because it's strong. Mom likes the uh, white ones. It's strong. I think what uh, she did, I think she used the purple ones. And she asked me, she said, Lord, give me some of that. Her, uh, uh, oh, God, mom, mom's a good cook. She wanted so much of me. You ain't gonna like it so long to sit right down and pick it out. She put onions in this, didn't she? Said, no one. I don't, I don't think she did. So I wasn't here. Yeah, yeah. I don't think she did. But Lauren's picking right out on it. You should go to <laughs> Lauren's house. So mom got home that night and the morning. She was there and no one just. You tell me this onion. It amazes me that mom can remember a lot. Right. That's boys right. like. Right. right. What? Right. You should cut up an onion and go put it inside all the food containers in Lauren's house and put them in the refrigerator. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, he doesn't know how to do it. He'd kill me. I Lauren, ain't doing that. Lauren's, Lauren doesn't like onions because his wiener and balls are like those onions that are white, like a piece of celery that stick up on top like a glass. <laughs> no. Ah. no, don't pick on them. Don't pick on them. We can't pick on them. No, it's. Those things no. can get big balls. I think I pick on Frank. You picked on it. Uh, why don't you pick on, you pick on one of my other brothers who deserves okay it? Frank don't deserve it now. It's okay to be gay. Don't say it like if one wants no. to be Frank ain't gay. honest with us. He likes Wendy. He likes Wendy. 
I know. He likes Tony's girlfriend. He wants to peck her in her back. I don't know if he likes Tony or Wendy. I don't know. Me and my wife's trying to figure that out. Who has bigger I tits? don't know. Tony or Wendy? I, I, Wendy runs around the house having a tutu. I don't know. I'm just like the service head wrap producer. Has he? Lord Lord sucks Lauren's been on anyway. Lauren sucked her titties. You can't tell. If, if, if Lauren called up and he said Tutu, Mom's just like, you can't tell if Lauren's going to be there or not. You don't know if Lauren's there. You see his vehicle, but you, you don't care. You ain't going to see Lauren because he's going to know when he's Tutu. That's how big she is. <laughs> That's a mom. That's your son. Wait a minute. <laughs> Do you mean Moo or Tutu? Like a ballerina yeah, outfit. Yeah, uh, the uh, skirt you pull over yourself. A skirt you pull over yourself. Oh, like now. Uh, a guy walks out with a robe. Okay, women have uh, a thing to pull over. Vinton died. Oh, uh, God, this thing's all oh, done. No, last time I said, Lawrence and Frank said, I'm getting the hell out of here. I told him, I ain't the hell out of here. Oh, shit. Good not Part of my life. Good not boy. She was that big. You know what's funny? You keep right. going over there every week. Right. 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 Yes. So I got mom gone. A tutu is what a ballerina wears. It's like it's like mesh netting and a tiny skirt. I think Lauren would look good in one of those. <laughs> okay, this must be uh, like a house dress or something. Cause yeah, that's Mommy's another name for it. Me. No, you meant like a moo moo. Like, uh, like mom's weren't big enough, so you can hide underneath that. But holy shit, one you, you can put about like five, six guys underneath that thing. Like two thing cows, right? Moo moo. Like what, king size bed, just hold a seat right over you. <laughs> Who cares? Moo moo. Moo moos, yeah. Moo moos, yeah. Moo moos, yeah. You know. Um, Mexican people like give their family members names like that, like Nino and Nini and Tutu and Tio. Uh, fuck that shit, man. I'm gonna be calling people. Uh, I got a couple. I got a couple girlfriends in Mexico. I'm gonna too. call you Roy, and I'm gonna call my mom a mom, and I'm gonna call my dad dad, and that's it. No, I don't have a dad. Uh, I got my well, brothers. You have, you have a poppy. I don't have a dad. I don't have a dad. I have a dad, and all these boys, these young boys, who call me dad because they have so much experience uh, that I work with. Uh, I got to get my ass back to work till mom says, so he's going to pick up and help him quite now today. Turn up Lauren. I'm going to help Stan. Uh, Stan calls me dad sometimes. Yeah, how old old I am. Yep, almost 40 years old. She's, yeah, she's trying to hit on his daughter, too, but his daughter's got another boyfriend. I guess he told me yesterday, and I said, I ain't going to hit on her. I got nothing to do with that. Uh, I got a girlfriend, which is Stan Knowles, and he asked me all the she said, I'm not going around. I said, May of June, said, I'm out of here. I said, the arrangements are already being made. Uh, Sarah's talking to Ron. She lives in Ron, lives in Texas. She's got money, so I'm trying to see what we do. Yeah, she's I'm leaving. Mine. She's gonna. I have to, yeah, I have to take. I have to take care of mom. She's gonna pay you back all that money to, you sent her as soon as she gets over here and gets access to it, right? She already did. She already paid. Uh, she sent me a thousand dollars. Yeah. And then you're supposed to send it to. Somebody. I said I I put I put money down for her first just, ticket and her second ticket. She she already sent me back a thousand dollars. You just throw that shit in the washing machine. Yeah, pay bills. And how in the hell did you get money? She said. That's smart, Roy. Huh? What? You don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta go to that coin op laundromat and take care of that money for her. It's a good thing you're doing. All right, take care of it. Thank you all thank you. So you get there, uh, you know, that is the richest place to find gold. Where? You look on the ground, you do a little bit, you find a piece of gold right in Africa, and that's the richest gold there is. Wow. 
I can put it. You Google it and find out. But we're not uh, in that area, really. Uh, it's you kind of—it's kind of like a Maine, Maine and New Hampshire. You know, in the northern states, where it's just at. You stay right in that region. Uh, uh, you got other regions down below, and then, but it's kind of like you stay right in this area, and it's that you're not really allowed to go. You are, but I think you got a special pass and everything. Uh, we'll never really discuss that yet. Uh, we'll talk quite a bit, but on the phone and shit. Uh, but the thing is, what she wants me to do is she wants me to come and experience her life. I think what it is, uh, there's a different language there. She speaks very little English. She speaks very good English, but it's not how you and I speak. I think uh, what happened was uh, when she tried to come here before, they couldn't understand her. Yeah. Uh, somebody screwed up on her passports, her visas. It only takes one little line, one little dot. Boom. You stand tall. It don't take nothing. Yeah, because they get really suspicious of those people because they don't know what their intent is. But she just wants yeah, to. Yeah, and and. And then, honey, in that too, you know, honey, what I think is, uh, she was, uh, I think she's kind of, you know, because I talked on the phone and stuff, says, do not uh, be afraid about speaking English. We'll help you. Uh, she she can't talk like you and I do. Uh, she texts very good English. Uh, when I talked to her on the phone and stuff like that, her, I could tell her, well, you know, here we're Maine Park. In California, you park. Uh, Maine maniacs do not pronounce the R's. But uh, she's always speak as like I do. I think she's uh, so afraid she's gonna criticize. No one's gonna, no one's gonna friggin' touch you. No one's gonna friggin' criticize you. If they do, I'll beat this friggin' shit right out of them. Uh, so my brother be right around too. So don't be the shit up. No, you want to learn how um, she said something. Mom, uh, just what'd you say? Um, we're taking. Uh, we had a party. Uh, my friend's uh, boyfriend left this stuff out. What do I do? Or something like that, I guess, you know. But she left a couple words out. Uh, she don't pronounce how we do. She, they taught her in school English, but... Um, hey, Ryan. Guys, what speak is totally different. Right. Well, hey, how are you doing? I, I'm, I remember I told you I had a friend who's from Ghana. Her name was Praise. Yeah, I got a moment, man. Mom's getting ready to go. Uh, you can call me back. Is Frank is Frank still around? I think so, but let Mom, me. Mom, I'm gonna start your call. Let me call up. Listen. Let me call up, Mom. Listen. I don't know what she shit at. Was she done? Was she done? Hey. <laughs> really? Cause confusion. Pretty Frank. high. I'm singing Frank a song. Yeah, she's singing a song. A traditional God yeah. Happy New Year. Hi, Mom. I'm uh, Okay, Roy. Yeah, I'm going to move my, move my van. Uh, Mom's away. Hi, Mama Gwendolyn. No, I'm just moving out of the way because I'm. I gotta give quite a call, Mother. Uh, she's got about to run around to do. His name right. Uh, I pull my van right in behind her. Can you uh, just hold on right there? Long's on the phone yet? Oh, God. Where's Frank? Where is Frank? Where's Frank? Who is that? Huh? Who? Listen, you're going to put your... You sound like Rod Stewart. Frank? Not Roy Punzel. Uh, -huh. uh sweet man. If you want it and you think he's sexy, come on, he suck his toes. Would you rather suck um your toe, Roy, or Lauren's toe? 
No, it's Frank. I don't know where he is. He ain't answering me. Okay, well, let me give him a call. Okay. Um, I'm good. I'm I'll, I'll give him a call. I'll call you. Uh, you call me back. Okay. Uh, I'm call. You can cast him. You only go if you. Don't try to kill yourself, sweetie. Be careful, yeah, okay, mom. I am. I'm here. I'm gonna get myself on mute. You do if you love me. How much? How much do you love me? How much do you love me? Are you talking to your mom? No, I'm talking to Lawrence because I didn't hear him. Oh. Oh, I, wanna, I thought you were picking your home. mom up and giving her a hug or something. No, I, no. Just run out. I just want to make sure you don't slip. Oh. I want to make sure you don't slip. You should do uh, it. Her soul is going on so bad. Uh, I'm getting really worried. I just get worried. That's how bad it is. Roy, you should make a snow, Roy. Take off all your clothes and make a snow angel, but put your wiener in the snow so everybody sees your foreskin. Yeah. <laughs> I got a call on. I got a call quite too. Last year they found a little dinosaur in the ground. It's a real thing. Yeah. Okay. Okay, again, uh, we'll talk later. Uh, tell uh, Frank Carson, uh, give me a, 10, give me a call. Okay. Make sure you don't masturbate okay. Frank because he feels you weird. Do you do good. You behave. You behave. Go on, Tony, you behave. Don't jack your brother off. Bye. I, I hung up on him. <laughs>